Hi, in this video, you will learn how to quickly create a Spring MVC project in Eclipse IDE. So you can save a lot of time in uh, creating uh, a new project uh, for Spring MVC. Uh, so you don't have to write boilerplate code for configuration. I am Nam Hamming from Code.net. So to quickly create a Spring MVC project in Eclipse IDE, you need to create a Maven project from this archetype. Uh, which group ID is code.entire. Artifact ID is Spring hyphen MVC archetype. And version is uh, 1.0.2. Now, let me show you how to quickly create a Spring MVC project in Eclipse in action. This is Eclipse IDE. You can see uh, I'm using uh, Eclipse IDE version uh, 2019 uh, September here. So, go to the menu file, new uh, Maven project, and in the new Maven project dialog. Click next. Here in the new Maven project dialog, click the button Add Archetype. Yeah, and specify the group ID for the archetype is code.n tire and artifact ID is. Uh, spring hyphen mvc hyphen archetype and version is 1.0.2 and know that uh, leave the repository url empty and click ok and click next and then uh, enter information for the project group id is net.codejava Artifact ID is my Spring MVC version. I choose version 1.0 and uh, specify the package name is net.codejava. That's it and click finish very quickly and you see the Maven project my Spring MVC is uh, being created with some uh, generated code uh, already done for you so you don't have to write boilerplate code for a Spring MVC configuration. Uh, let's see the Maven project file from .xml here. Open it. And you can see uh, the archetype, uh, Spring MVC archetype uh, was created a long time ago, so the version for Java and Spring is quite old. So after uh, the project created, uh, you may need to update the version for Java, Spring and uh, CZ library here. Yeah. In, uh, for example, I want to use Java 1.8. So change the Java version here to 1.8 and Spring version is uh, 5.2.3.3 release. And uh, the latest version of uh, CZ Lib is 3.3.0. And save the file and wait for Maven to uh, update the dependencies. You can see uh, this archetype also used uh, old version of Java SD, Java 1.6. So we need to change Java version uh, for the project as well.
Okay. Uh, Maven has uh, completed uh, update the dependencies so for Spring uh, 5.2.3 5 for release here. And right click here to update the properties and choose the execution environment. On my computer, I'm using ZDK 11, so I choose Zama SE 1.8. Uh, yeah, okay. Click apply and close. And you can see. Uh, okay, let me show you the dependencies for uh, Spring uh, MVC project. You can see Spring Context, uh, Spring Web MVC, Spring ORM, uh, Spring Test. Note that for the latest version of Spring, Spring uh, uh, 5 by 2 by 3 you don't have to uh, we don't have to use a cg lib uh, dependency anymore so can you can delete this uh, dependency uh, cg lib and uh, delete uh, cg lib here save the file okay So you can modify the dependencies in this Maven uh, form, not identify uh, if you want. Now let me show you the generate code in the project. You see the MVC configuration class was created here, and in this class, uh, it automatically uh, uh, do some uh, uh, configuration for Spring MVC like. Setting a view resolver, the so view prefix in web inf view di views directory and suffix for view file is dot space and also the resource handler for static resources. And you can see in the project here uh, the standard structure for all project is also. Uh, Created, you can see a web inf views home not just be web .xml and resources is to put a static resources like JavaScript files, CSS files, and so on. And you can see the web .xml web development descriptor file is also was uh, generated and configured. Uh, Spring uh, MVC dispatcher uh, service, uh, as you can see here, uh, configuration uh, is done for you. And uh, home not SP is a default uh, view for the application. Hello world, this is the home page, and you can see with uh, Spring file. There's a uh, class web MVC configure adapter is uh, deprecated, so you need to replace uh, this by implement uh, the interface uh, uh, web MVC configure. Okay. Okay. And you can see. Uh, in the controller layer, you can see uh, there also a home controller class uh, was generated, and this handles uh, the home page of the application with this uh, UI mapping, and it returns a model and view with the view name is home. So the home of the SP view will be picked up and sold to the and user and uh, you can see in the markers view there are some errors here the command level does not does not match the version of install server project faces uh, 
notice that uh, with uh, this project uh, the version of web deployment descriptor file is quite old uh, 2.4 so you may need to use a newer version for example uh, web deployment descriptor version 3.0 so we need to uh, update the version here and also in the Raven project file, in the version of uh, Surface API is quite old. So, here yeah, I change the version to update the dependency for Java Surface is artifact ID is in Java dot Surface API and the version is 3.0.1.0. And uh, update the version of the web development descriptor file here is 2.0. Oh. And also in this, uh, yeah, 3.0. Okay. And right click on the project uh, properties and project. Faces and change the dynamic web module version to uh, 3.0, Java version to 1.8. Click apply and close. And update uh, Maven project. Uh, update project. Okay. And you can see the errors are gone. And uh, we can uh, test our Spring MVC project uh, uh, with uh, Apache Tomcat server. Right click here, uh, add and remove a project to a Tomcat, and select uh, My Spring MVC. And finish. And right click to start uh, the server. And you can see the server is uh, up and uh, running. And uh, you can see it is listening on the port HTTP 80. And you can see it is a uh, spring and this patch of solid uh, was initialized. You see, and now we can uh, test our very first uh, Spring MVC application. So I open my Chrome browser and enter the URL HTTP localhost uh, my Spring MVC, and you can see the home page. Rest display hello world. This is the home page uh, that uh, is exactly the message in the home.sp here. So, that I will show you how to quickly create a Spring MVC project in Eclipse IDE. And the key point is to create a Maven project from this archetype and with this information. And after the project uh, got created, you need to uh, modify Java version, uh, modify some uh, um, versions of Java, version of Spring, version of Submit API in the Maven uh, form of XML file. And then uh, you need to uh, update the version of web uh, deployment descriptor file change the project uh, faces uh, to newer version uh, here you see uh, java dynamic web module the version java version and the benefit of using uh, uh, the uh, archetype is that uh, it automatically generates uh, some configuration class 
some configuration classes you can see uh, MVC configuration home controller um, and the standard uh, directory structure uh, web development descriptor the default home the SP okay so that's also quickly create a spring MVC project uh, using Eclipse IDE and thank you for watching.